The road to AGI should be a giant power struggle. Like the world should, I, like, I, well, not should, I expect that to be the case. Sam Altman is the CEO and co-founder of OpenAI. Before OpenAI, Sam was the president of Y Combinator, Silicon Valley's most exclusive and successful startup accelerator. Sam's tech career began when he left Stanford to start a company called Looped. He raised $39 million for the startup and later sold it in an acquisition deal for $43 million. He's become one of the faces of artificial intelligence, speaking to government leaders and calling for regulation. He's been fired, rehired, faced a slew of high-profile resignations, and has made more than a few enemies. What are we to make of this guy leading the AI revolution? How should we be thinking about the future of artificial intelligence being decided by so few? It's a curious case, Sam Altman's. And raise your right hand. You solemnly swear that the testimony that you are going to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me out. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today about large neural networks. It's, it's really an honor to be here, uh, even more so in the moment than I expected. My name is Sam Altman. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of OpenAI. In the months following this hearing, on November 17th, 2023, OpenAI's nonprofit board of directors fired Altman. They said they did it because of his handling of artificial intelligence, safety, and abusive behavior. No further details were given. It was a stunning announcement that shocked Silicon Valley. As for the general public, they asked a highly relevant and important question. Why was the most valuable AI company in the world a nonprofit organization? Sam addressed this very thing in his testimony before the United States Senate Committee on the Judiciary on May 15, 2023. OpenAI is an unusual company, and we set it up that way because AI is an unusual technology. We are governed by a nonprofit, and our activities are driven by our mission and our charter, which commit us to working to ensure that the broad distribution of the benefits of AI and to maximizing the safety of AI systems. We are working to build tools that one day can help us make new discoveries and address some of humanity's biggest challenges, like climate change and curing cancer. This is worthy of further examination. Under oath before Congress, Altman said OpenAI was set up in such an unusual manner because artificial intelligence is an unusual technology. The company was governed by a nonprofit board of directors and driven by that organization's mission and charter, which, according to Altman, includes solving climate change and curing cancer. Months later, after getting ousted and quickly reinstated, Altman learned something new that changed his perspective. Definitely learned a lot about um structure and incentives and um, what we need out of a, a board. Um, and I think that is, it is valuable that this happened now in some sense. Um, I think this is probably not like the last high stress moment of OpenAI, but it was quite a high stress moment. Like company very nearly got destroyed. Sam was right. It wasn't the last high stress moment for the company. OpenAI's board considering plans to restructure the firm to a for-profit business, according to a source who asked to remain anonymous uh, to CNBC because they say the talks are ongoing. The company would retain its nonprofit segment as a separate entity. News of the discussions coming after OpenAI's chief technology officer, Mira Miriati, uh, saying yesterday that she was leaving the company after six and a half years. Uh, she served as interim CEO while founder Sam Altman was briefly ousted last November. Two executives in the research department are also leaving. Uh, so a major restructuring is going on in terms of the personnel. When you really go back and look at the 13 people who founded this company, uh, it's, uh, I think we're down, you know, and then there were two. Yeah, maybe um, two or three, but one two, of them's on leave. But that's the pure motivation. There's no motivation around making money or, or power. I cannot overstate how foreign of a concept, like, I mean, for you personally, not for OpenAI, but you, you weren't starting. Well, I had already made a lot of money, so it was not like a big, I mean, I, I, like. You make a lot of money, do you? I make, no, uh, I paid enough for health insurance. I have no equity in OpenAI. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. You need a lawyer. I need a what? You need a lawyer or an agent. I, I'm doing this because I love it. And I just ask this because of the significance of OpenAI. Um, you, have a, you have a board which is all supposed to be independent financially so that they're making these decisions as a nonprofit, thinking about the stakeholder, their stakeholder that they are fiduciary of isn't the shareholders, it's humanity. Um, everybody's independent. There's no financial incentive that anybody has that's on the board, including yourself with OpenAI. Um, well, Greg was, 
Okay, first of all, I think making money is a good thing. I think capitalism is a good thing. With everyone around him leaving for reasons known and unknown, what is Sam's future? We explore this question, along with Sam's continuing calls for more and stricter regulation that would benefit OpenAI and protect the moat it has built. In our next installment of The Curious Case of Sam Altman. I think there will come a time in the not super distant future, like, you know, we're not talking like decades and decades from now, where AI says the frontier AI systems are capable of causing significant global harm. And for those kinds of systems, in the same way we have like global oversight of nuclear weapons or synthetic bio or things that can really like have a very negative impact way beyond the realm of one country, uh, I would like to see some sort of international agency that is looking at the most powerful systems and ensuring like reasonable safety testing. You know, these things are not going to escape and recursively self-improve or whatever.